Looks like we got a new offering from Scum Frog. It's the new Launch Frog, correct? I cannot tell you guys how excited I am about the new Launch Frog from Scum Frog. This, I'm going to tell you something. This is a bold statement, but I'm going to explain to you why. This frog will actually make you a better frog fisherman. So what it has that's different from everything else, it actually has a tungsten weight system inside of it. Now this thing, it weighs three quarters of an ounce, but it gives this frog so many awesome attributes that it's, it's amazing. But one of the best things, what's gonna make you a better frog fisherman is the ease of casting this thing. And that's why we call it the launch frog. You can literally launch and just about cast all the line off of your reel. You can throw this thing so far. But what it does when you're not trying to throw it so far, that extra weight allows you to be so much more accurate with your presentations, whether you're skipping it on your overhangs, whether you're skipping it under boat docks, or just trying to skip it up by, you know, cypress trees, anything like that. And just, just your casting accuracy when you're not even skipping this thing just how much easier it is to cast with that tungsten weight system. It's also got just absolutely massive hooks in it. Um, this thing, it just seems like it just stabs them so much better. There's so many different color options in it. This one right here particularly is the bluegill color, which I've been using a lot here lately. Um, you know, there's a lot of fish feeding on brim. And, but this thing has really, it's got me excited about frog fishing again. And another thing that with the weight transfer system in the back of it, when you're twitching this frog, as you know how we all, we all do the normal walk the dog as it twitches back and forth like this. With that extra weight in the back, you actually get like an extra little action out of it, an extra bob. So every time you twitch it, it kind of does, it, it does like a little extra bob. And then when it comes back over, it kind of does a little extra bob. So when you're, when you're working it, it actually has like a secondary bob to it. And it's just really, it's such a unique deal. And the other thing is that we've kind of figured out, look at the hole in the back of it where the hooks are coming out of. Mm -hmm. We've figured out how to have a hole that big that you never have to reel the frog in and squish all the water out of it. All the water out of our launch frog already is running out of it so you don't have like i said you don't have to squish it and, and squeeze it to get it to keep uh instead of you know when those other frogs get water in them they'll, a lot of times they'll sink this guy won't do that he stays he stays up real good the fourth attribute to this thing being weighted differently like that is when you're fishing it over matted grass which we're, that's what everybody is so used to fishing a frog the extra weight in the back actually kind of makes the frog sit like this a little bit so it pushes down a little bit on the mat mm -hmm. and it actually gives those fish a little bit easier target when they're coming up through whether you're at the potomac river in maryland lake champlain you know gunnersville any of those places it just has all that milk oil that everybody likes to throw the frogs over this one actually gives the fish a little bit easier target and like i said we got some of the best colors that are out there we got we actually hired a lore artist to come in and, and do all our colors so man the launch frog from scum frog is just amazing and it has me excited about fishing frogs again very cool i mean i, I noticed that they said the tongue's still waiting the first thing i was thinking was just getting a little heavier on that mat a little more make it easier to see and, and get it and just i guess more weight on the mat i didn't think about launching and casting it but i should have figured it out by the name uh, and, and the body's really, really, really soft too. And, and is this like a custom hook you guys have? It looks like it kind of, it molds around the bait itself almost. Is that? It does. And, and notice how long the hook is mm -hmm. on there. It's really long and it sticks really far up over there and it just hooks them so well. And I got to tell you this, I got to brag just a little bit, just for a second. The, the uh, third or fourth day I used this frog, the final production model, of course, we've been for a year and a half, we've been, we've been throwing prototypes, but the final production model on my new show on MOTV, the fishing show with JT Kenny, I catch an 11 one on this frog. So it was absolutely, I mean, the big ones will bite it and they all bite it. I mean, but when, when the second or third day you fish it, you catch an 11 pounder on it, you know, it's the frog. Yeah, very cool. I, I noticed that tongue's the way, and the first thing I was thinking was just how it's going to sit on that mat and, and have a lot more impression on the mat itself. I didn't even think about, you know, the casting distance, and 
I should have figured it out knowing that's the launch frog. I should have put two and two together, but no one said I'm smart. Uh, I, know, I did notice the body is, it is real soft and how that hook almost kind of bends around the body. Is that like a custom hook you guys made or what, what's going on there? Well, so you can see on here exactly how far that the, that hook actually comes up. It's actually this part of the hook is extended a little bit. So it really can reach up there and, and stab them. And, you know, that's one of the things that everybody loved about a scum frog was how soft it was. And it, and it actually hooked them very well. But the problem was you couldn't throw it because it was so light. You couldn't get any distance out of it. And it was really hard to be accurate with it. So that's why the launch frog is just, in my opinion, the absolute best frog out there because it's still that super soft body that allows you, and we, like you said, we even improved the hook, that that super soft body that allows you to be able to hook them good. But now with that tungsten weight system in it, you know, you can actually cast it. And that was the problem with the scum frog. So we solved that. And, you know, I got to brag for just a second. The second or third day that I actually got to throw our production model, you know, we've, I've been throwing the prototype at Scum Frog for almost a year now trying to get this thing right. But the second or third day I actually threw the production model, I caught an 11-1 on my uh, new show, The Fishing Show with JT Kenny that's on MOTV. So I got to, you know, when you catch an 11-pounder the second day you fish it with the, with the production model, you know that's the right frog. Also, I can't wait to check out the frog and check out your show too. It's on, is it MOTV it's going to be on? Yep, MOTV.com. It's called The Fishing Show with JT Kenny. Are those going live now? When do those start rolling out? We have uh, six of them live right now. Okay. We've had uh, Terry Scroggins. We've had Brian Thrift. We've had uh, Ish Monroe. Spoiler alert, I actually catch a 12 pounder with Ish Monroe on the show. And this is all on public lakes too. This isn't on any private lakes. Um, we've had Fletcher Shryock on there. You know, we've had a bunch of guys. We got some new episodes coming out where we're going to have uh, James Watson's going to be on. We've had uh, Luke Clawson on. So that's basically the deal of it. Is is it's just myself, and then I always have an MLF angler as a guest on. So it's it's a really fun show, and it's been fun to do. Very cool. Can't wait to check it out. Yeah, we uh, we have six of the colors here. Um, but if you guys want to check out all of those more detailed, head to the website. There's some cool ones. I got, um, we got some natural frog colors, black and yellow. Corey's got like a shad one and a couple other natural yeah. colors. That bluegill JT had a shad looking one and this very cool little frog pattern. And then the, the black and white. I like that one. That one's pretty cool. Yeah, That's very different. cool. Well, if you guys want to pick up one of the new launch frogs actually available right now in Tack Warehouse, so make sure you go check them out and go put them to the test. And I, just from what I've seen, I'm going to get some myself. Or actually, I already have a few for myself right here. They're going to go in my yeah, tackle box. Yeah, you want to go fish later? Yeah, this All afternoon right, we're going. <laughs> cool. Thanks for joining us and being our guinea pig on the test run here. And uh, we look forward to those shows, and hopefully we can see you out in Florida again sometime soon. I appreciate you guys having me on, and hey, just just a little tip: all those colors are good, but dude, that sloppy toad, the sloppy toad color is awesome. That's the one I caught the eleven pounder on. Is that this brown, brownish yep, one? That is. Okay. Yeah, I thought I saw a picture of a on your Instagram with a box full of this color. So. Exactly. Like I said, they're all good. The bullfrog color is really good too, but man, my heart lies with that sloppy toad. Now, did you name that color, or is that color named after you, maybe? Or, or where does that color name come from? A little bit of both. <laughs> well, appreciate it, JT. Thanks for chatting with us. Uh, if you guys said all the products you see here today are available for pre-order or for purchase right now in Tack Warehouse. And we'll get to the next episode. Thanks, guys.